Hey beautiful people, welcome back to Fall Diaries 60 Day Glow Up Challenge. If you haven't watched part one, go do so now and then come right back on time. If you don't know me, I'm Naomi. I love to enjoy the little things and I've always had the deep desire to celebrate the unique beauty of literally everyday simple life. And especially right now, my challenge to myself and if you want to follow along, is celebrating the unique beauty and challenge of everyday choices like fitness, homemaking, skincare, all the things us girls love, especially if if you clicked on today's video. So without further ado, today's video is diving into the topic of our bodies. But remember, this is different for everyone and these are only just inspo, examples, and me just going through this journey with you. You can also check out my vlog content where I'm actually documenting this whole process through these seven steps to ultimately, hopefully, glow up before the year of 2025. And I do wanna preface, Fitness does not have to be specifically what you hear of going to the gym and grueling in the gym. Although that is something personally for me that I am trying to challenge myself in is actually going to the gym because that's scary, it's intimidating. But I've honestly been loving it, which honestly is shocker, especially to like Naomi two years ago. What I'm trying to learn is what feels good for me and my body. That could be the gym, that could be stretching, that could be so many different things. But in today's video, let's explore three things that feel good for me and they might be great stepping stones for you. So number one, Pilates. If you need a great resource, I love Pilates by Raven. I actually saw her on the show called Love is Blind and I loved her. And then I found out through that that like she has like this full on Pilates YouTube channel, Pilates Instagram, and she's great. So if I do Pilates, she is my go-to. I will also be sure to link down below her channel as well as a free PDF download of my glow up guide. So with Pilates, let's picture soft mats, gentle stretches. We are not trying to overdo it. Connecting our mind to our muscles. It depends what type of Pilates you are doing. There's very much between an intermediate to much more than that. And I'm definitely not a Pilates instructor, but I do know, for example, that Raven has a bunch of different ones. It could be predominantly stretches or like a full on 30 minute workout. She even has one she recommends. So when us girlies are on time of the month and they are so nice. I've done them a few times and they are amazing. But to get in a good mindset for our bodies and honing in our best selves, I like to think of Pilates as a warm hug for our bodies. Number two, this absolutely counts and that's walking, getting our daily movement in, our steps in. So I challenge you this week to lace up your sneakers, step outside, change this up a bit if this isn't a normal rhythm in your day to day and let nature be your gym. Walking clears your mind, it boosts your energy. And again, like I said in the beginning, it's celebrating the joy of simple movements. Now, I really like this one because I have always been intimidated when it comes to big machines at the gym, heavy weights. But again, this is flexible, this is just an overall inspo to make you look and feel good and see what works for you. What I have to remind myself is that it isn't so deep. Like it very depends on that person. If you're wanting to weight train, that's amazing. If you're trying to build muscle, if you're just trying to overall get more steps in, like we said before, that is all good and part of your 2025 glow up. I even remember seeing a video of someone who didn't have like the typical dumbbells or heavy weights and they literally used household items like soup cans, flour. You just never know. So have fun with it. Don't limit yourself to things around you. Utilize nature. Utilize your gym in your apartment building. Get a gym membership. It, it all really stems from your mindset and what you want for your body. In the space that I am right now, for an example, you could see it in my vlogs, that I'm really just trying to tone and gain muscle and ideally lose some weight. But what makes me really motivated about it and having a healthy perspective is knowing that my body is a temple and, and I wanna always give my body self-love, self-care, which we talk about in another video coming soon, and just doing what makes your body feel good. So my friends, let's honor our bodies, stretch, sway, lift in a way that makes our bodies feel good. And remember, the key here, first and foremost, is that self-love is the ultimate workout. Until next time, find a new playlist, grab your phone, and put on a podcast. Make fitness a journey, make it fun, spice it up a little bit. The last tip I'll say here is I might be silly, but I love these playlists, these strut playlists, especially for the treadmill. I listen to a main character movie playlist. I listen to a Sabrina Carpenter strut playlist, and they're all so fun and honestly get me so hyped up. So let's keep savoring those walks in our fitness journey, you and me both, and celebrate the beautiful vessel that is our bodies. Lastly, but surely not least, it would literally mean the world if you hit that subscribe button, put those post notifications on, and get ready for next week's topic as we go in the journey together. Bye, guys.